I don't like it here. It's too dirty. It's too dirty? What's dirty about it? Filth everywhere. The whole city is covered in smog. Why do you think all the buildings are grey? Because they're made of concrete. But the buildings in Italy are made of concrete too. But this place looks nothing like Venice. Not if it was Venice. You're telling me. I don't like London. It's too busy and everyone is running around impatiently. You get that in every city. Exactly. What's in a big city that you can't get in Fitch League? Art, employment, places to go. You can't see the Houses of Parliament in Fitchley. Why do you want to see the Houses of Parliament for? Do you want to be an MP? No, I just don't want to live in a town where I'm slowly dying. You'll die even quicker here. This is one of the most polluted cities on Earth. Mm, well, stress is a bigger killer than pollution. Stress? What's stressing you out in Fitchley? No comment. Is that a snide remark about me? The absolute cheek of it. I raised you, you know. How could I forget? If I hadn't adopted you, You'd have a much worse life. You'd still be in a foster home somewhere with no support or direction. Mary Paul, back me up no, here. I'm not getting involved. Love you, Mum. But she's an overbearing control freak. Hey, I didn't say that. You didn't need to. Either way, I'm in London now. I don't know why you're here. What was wrong with living at home with us? I told you I wanted to go to university. Well, what are you doing here? This is London, not university. There are universities in London. There's a university in Fitchleek. There are 23 universities in London, 40 higher education institutes as a whole. Even more if you count foreign universities with London campuses. Why does that matter to you? You're not going to 23 universities. If you do so, you'll be in education for the next 69 years. Would that be such a bad thing? What did you say? Nothing. You did, I heard you. Then why did you ask? Don't get smart with me. I thought that was the point of going to university. Great, huh? Let's fill out your pocket. What is it? It's nothing. It's a very physical nothing. <laughs> it's a postcard. I was going to send it to someone. This is Battersea Power Station. Yes. What's happening to Battersea Power Station nowadays? What do you mean? Well, they haven't generated power there since the <laughs> 80s. What are they doing? Da, 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 da. <laughs> They're demolishing it, aren't they? No, I heard they were making it into uh, parts. There's a plan to redevelop it. They're turning it into... They're demolishing bits of it and turning other bits into... Um, well, what's the Into point? offices. What's the point? It's an ugly building anyway. It's iconic. It's just a hipster word for just useless and ugly. Why, has someone been calling you iconic? <laughs> That's not the way to talk to your mother. <laughs> what's so iconic about it? You sure you didn't mean to say moronic? No, it is iconic. I've got a friend who works there. They've told me all about it. It's part of a redevelopment project. Ooh, a friend? A friend. Huh? Oh my. Is he pretty close? God! It's finally happened, hasn't ah. it? He's got a girlfriend, hallelujah! No, it's not like that. Oh, oh come off it, I can read you like a book. Okay, there was someone, but... I don't think it's going to work out. Wait, you broke up? No, it's not... Not exactly, but... I kind of ruined things and... I think it's all fallen through. Oh, Peter, just go and apologise. You're not as bad as you think. Well, thanks for that glowing review. I mean it. Just go and apologise and make everything better. Let's hope so. <laughs> Will she really be inspected on the side of this thing that closely? Lloyd, you've never met my mother. Yes, you will be inspecting. Relax. She's your mother, and she loves you, and she wants just the best for you. She's not going to be judging you. Well... It's so obvious you've never met her. Come on, I'm sure she's not that bad. Then you're very much mistaken. And can you stop doing that? Don't want you showing any displays of affection in front of my family. I feel so loved right now. I'm sorry. It's just they don't know about you yet, and I don't want them to work it out. It's been years. How do they not know yet? I just don't know how they'll react. Particularly not my mother. Doesn't she not like gay people? She doesn't like people in general. <laughs> I've no hope then. I'm definitely one of them. Just try not to show any signs of humanity and you'll be fine. I'll model myself on you then. Ouch.
Have they never even asked her about a relationship? Believe me, my mother would love me to get a girlfriend. Paul has a girlfriend, Mary has a boyfriend, now she wants a complete set. And that will make her happy. <laughs> no, it would merely make her satisfied. She's never happy. All three of us have first class degrees and she's still not happy. It's merely acceptable. I could win a Nobel Prize and she simply asked me if it fits on my CV. Well, I'm proud of you. I know you are. I hate her sometimes, but she's my mum. We argue, but I can't do this right now. I need to tell her about you, but I, I don't want to keep letting you down. I know, I get it. If I tell her about you and she's not happy, then she's never going to be happy. And if that causes a rift between us, then I have no parents. She must be wondering about your love life. I did once mention a relationship, but it was vague and it was years ago. And she never questioned out more. I kind of implied it was fizzling out. It kind of was. Was it? I don't remember anything fizzling out. I was a jerk. I made a fool of myself and I assumed you were going to break up with me. It's starting to ring a bell. Did we just talk it over and everything's all right? I think there's more in my head than it was in real life. Either way, my mum assumed I had a girlfriend and then she broke up with me. I didn't say much, but I suppose I kind of played along with my silence. It is going to be okay. Answer the door, talk to your mom normally, and I'll just be your new housemate. Hello, come in. Hello. This place is in a right state already. You've only been here a week. Nice to see you too, Mother. I'm not joking, this whole place needs to be bleached. Are you happy living in a house that's a tip? Well, I'm a bit messy myself. I should probably take most of the blame. I see. Aren't you going to introduce us? Uh, yeah, of uh, course, this is uh, Lloyd. Hey, dude. His roommate. Uh, flatmate. Come on, get a coat. And what do you do? I work as a graphic designer. Is that a job? Well, are you going to take us on a tour of the place then? Yes, if I have to. Obviously, through there was the kitchen where we uh, eat and respire and all the other essentials. Uh, not all the essentials, hopefully. Yes, I forgot to mention, through there's the bathroom. I'll tell you what, the underside of the basin is absolutely filthy. <sighs> Over here, we have the uh, my bedroom. It's a tip, just like when you lived at home. Yep, just the way I like it. Are you happy living in a pigsty? You know, pigs are actually very clean animals. Ah, really? So how come two of the world's major religions forbid eating them because they're so filthy? I'm not a Muslim or a Jew. I don't consider pigs to be filthy animals. Ah, Buddhist and vegan don't eat them either. Mm, some people care about sentient life. A lot of bloody hippies. So where does Lloyd sleep? In his room. Well, I know that. I didn't expect you were top and tailing in here. What? I, it, it's um, where two people uh, sleep in the same bed, so like the head and the feet are matching up and they don't have to face each other. Oh, I thought she meant. So are you going to show us the other rooms? Oh. Through here is uh, Lloyd's room. Well, Lloyd. You keep your pit tidy, at least. It doesn't look slept in. Well, I do. It's a nice view. Yeah. Peter? Why there is a Battersea Power Station picture in your pocket? Oh, that's just a silly game they've been playing. How does it work, this game? 
And most important, why? Well, Peter dropped it and Paul picked it up and hid it. And now they're taking it in turns to hide it from each other. Okay, then. As I say, it's a bit of a silly game, isn't it? Why had you got it? Yeah, as I said, it's a bit of a silly game. It's a nice picture, though, isn't it? You know, I tell you what, I, I can't stay in this house knowing there's a pigsty in your room. At least one of you know how to take care of themselves. Why there's a tea bag on the back of it? There's originally a message on it. I was going to use the postcard as an actual postcard. Who is it addressed to? And why did you tea bag so weird? Was it to me? Look, I wrote it during that period when we weren't talking very much. I wrote it as a kind of apology. This is so sweet. Why you never send it? It was we hadn't been together long at the time. I thought it'd probably scare you off. Did Paul read it before you tip back so weird? I've been wondering that for the past five years. Mary. Hmm? You see that? What, the man with hair down to his ankles? Mm-hmm. That's you. <laughs> See that? Woman with three pork pie hats? Mm-hmm. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that up there is you. What is? A gargoyle. OK, so... A gargoyle has to be spitting water, and that's not spitting water, so it's not a gargoyle, hence I'm not a gargoyle. All right, fine. Yeah. You're a dry gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you two doing in here? Just admiring the view. <laughs> Fair enough. Have you got any secrets? Of course not. Why? I was just wondering. I mean, I've told you about every date I've ever been on, what I'm studying. I've introduced you to all my friends, yeah. so <laughs> couldn't keep a secret if I tried. No. Okay. I would ask you if you had any secrets, but I'm fairly sure I know everything about you. What if it wasn't about me? You have a secret about one of your friends? No, I, I shouldn't have said anything, sorry. Then why did you? I don't know. Do you think it's weird that Pete has moved in with a friend that he's never mentioned to us? Well, he hasn't got a girlfriend, so it makes sense that he'd move in with a friend. We know all his friends. He hasn't got a secret friend. And all of a sudden, he's introducing us to this mysterious old friend who he's never talked about, yet he feels comfortable enough to move in with him. Well, London's expensive. I mean, sometimes you've just got to move in with whoever's got space. He knows people in London. If he wanted to move in with a friend, he could have. I don't really get what you're saying. power station. Have you seen this? Yes. Peter told me the story. It's some kind of game you two play, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Peter loves playing games. You 
Google that a clean bedroom, I found three piles of books on the floor in your bedroom. None of them alphabetized. Didn't think you'd be looking around the piles of books on my floor. Should know better than that by now. Has Lloyd gone to bed? I haven't seen him in ages. I don't know where he is, actually. Did you mean everything you said? When we had an argument five years ago, this is what he wanted to say. Are you mad at me? <laughs> no, of course not. It's just, you could have said this five years ago. We hadn't been together long and I thought it was a bit intense. Peter, I had no idea you felt that strongly about me so long ago. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you too. I just didn't think you wanted to hear about it at the time. Mm, about spending life together, getting married and raising family, everything like that. Yeah. It was incredibly sweet. You could have told me all that five years ago. I thought you'd hate me. How could I hate you? <laughs> Don't you people do? <laughs> Nobody hates you. Your family loves you, despite what you may say. I'm sorry. What for are you sorry? I can't do this. Why? I can't do this right now. Yes, you can, Peter. You are the strongest person I've ever met. I can't tell my family about you. I remember now why we were arguing five years ago. You wouldn't tell your family about me. It's the same argument again and forever. Lloyd, you know I love you. I know. We've lived together for God's sake. We've been together for over five years. You must hate me. I don't hate you. If I hate you, why would I want everybody to know that we are a couple? Don't say that so loudly. I don't keep you a secret from anyone, Peter. I know. You're a much better man than I am. You don't need to tell them now. It's not that I think they wouldn't like you, it's just... You're incredibly charming. It's just my mum would... She'd be incredibly overbearing. If she found that I had a girlfriend, so to, to find to help. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> How about I put all my charm to good use? <laughs> Where are you going? Hello, Miss Hager. Can I get you tea or coffee? I'm fine for now. Thank you very much for asking. Anybody else needs a drink? No. No, thanks. Anything I can do to help? You're very kind, but just relax and sit down. Did you have a good journey down today? Oh, it was very long. Two and a half hours on the train. All to be greeted by a messy flat. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's that messy son of mine. He's never taken any responsibility. Never settled down and found himself a nice girl. He still thinks he's a child. Have you come down from fish sleep today? Yes, we all live there. And I thought Peter would be joining us after university, but he appears to still be in the honeymoon phase of living in the big city. 
Well, Lena can be a nice and he's got a good job and a lot of friends here. He tells us about most of his friends. Yes, he know. Never mentioned you though. Mary. Where are you from? Oh, Lithuania. But I lived here for about six years. Do you not find it boring and busy and rude? Well, it can be, but there is a lot of nice bits. A lot of theaters, museums and restaurants you won't find anywhere else on Earth. What is it you said you did for a living? I'm a graphic designer. Any projects you worked on? Often construction, we're developing buildings and things, promotional material if needed. I work on a few different projects, always moving around. As I said, mainly assisting with building redevelopments. So just like DIY? Hmm. No, mainly big buildings, landmarks sometimes, and things like that. Anything we'll have heard of? <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> Five years back, I work at a battery power station. Did I say something wrong? Mom, don't! Oh, God. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? Why didn't you tell me you're gay? You're gay, aren't you? I mean, he could be bi, or pan, or questioning. Not questioning anything. Now you find your voice! Why didn't you say anything earlier? Lloyd, what did you tell her? I did not say nothing, I promise. Don't take this out on Lloyd. He's your boyfriend, isn't he? Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you tell me for five years? I thought you'd be disappointed. <sighs> and there's my answer. Finally. I say you'd be disappointed and you don't dispute it. Mum? What? Tell Peter you're not disappointed in him. It's fine, Mary. I already know. Peter, I'm not disappointed. But you'd rather have had a girlfriend. I just want you to be happy. And you think that being gay would make me unhappy? Well, you don't seem very happy now. That's not why he's unhappy. Oh, so you're the expert now. I suppose you knew about this. Huh. I see. So you've been having a big laugh behind my back. Can you stop making this about you for one second, okay? It's not about happiness or secrets. The only reason I'm with Lloyd is because I love him. I'm sorry, Peter. You know I love you. And I can understand why you love Lloyd. He's really very sweet. I love you too. I don't want to keep secrets anymore. Mm. Who put Battersea Power Station in my pocket? I still don't know what the fuss is about. It was ugly 40 years ago, and if they keep the same design, it'll still be ugly 40 years from now. I told you, it's iconic. And I told you- Oh please, can we not have this discussion again? Let's just settle on saying that it's an interesting building, and now it serves other functions. Does it do functions? I hope so. Need a venue for my wedding reception. 